Hello and welcome to today's myminimaths.co.uk video tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at the arithmetic 16 question 29 practice question, which is adding together three different fractions, but they all have related denominators at the bottom. So first of all, we're going to look at question 29a. So if we write out the question, so that's 1 25th plus 1 fifth plus 1 fiftieth. Now when I say related, that means these three denominators are all linked to each other. So the 5 will fit into the 50 and the 25 will also fit into the 50. So what we can do is we can change all three fractions so they are all over 50, which is our common denominator. And we're going to add them together. Now, if we look at the first fraction, we multiply the 25 by 2 to get to 50. So we need to do the same with the top one. So that's a 2 which goes on here. Then the second fraction, which we multiplied by 10 to get to 50, we do the same with the numerator. So we have a new numerator of 10. Then the third one is it already at 50, so we've times by 1, which is the same with the top, so it's 1. And when we add together all three of these numerators, we end up with 13 over 50 as our final answer. The next question, which is question 29b, is 1 20th plus one fifth plus one quarter. Now, as we can see, the five will fit into the 20 and the four will also fit into the 20. So 20 becomes our common denominator. I'm going to add them together, of course. So the 20 remains the same. So we just place the one at the top like the original fraction. The 5 was multiplied by 4 to make the 20 here. So we do the same with the numerator. So 1 times 4 is 4. And the 4 was multiplied by 5 to make this denominator a 20. So we do the same with the numerator at the top to give us 5. Then we add together our numerators to give us a grand total of 10 over 20. Or... A half. Next we're going to look at question 29c and this question is a half add one twelfth add one sixth and again if we look at the denominators we know that the 2 will fit into the 12 and the 6 will also fit into the 12 so 12 will become a new common denominator which we're going to add together. So if we look at, if we take the one at the top, so the two we've multiplied by six. So we do the same with the top. So our new numerator becomes six. Then the 12 remains the same. So that stays the same as one as our numerator. And then finally, we've multiplied this six by two to get to 12. So we do the same with the top to give us a numerator of two. And again, we add these together, these numerators, to give us a grand total of 9 over 12, or 3 quarters. And for the final question, which is question 29D, the first fraction is 1 15th. We're going to add that to 1 third, and then finally add 1 fifth. And again, we can see how the denominators are related to each other. So the th because the 3 fits into 15 and the 5 also fits into 15. So 15 is our common denominator. Now, if we look, we've multiplied the 1 at the top. So 15 times 1 is obviously 15. So it's exactly the same for the top. So it stays the same. Then the 3 times 5 to make the 15, so the same with the top. So we have a new numerator of 5, and then finally, the 5 times 3, so we do the same with the numerator, 
and we get a new numerator of three. So when we add all these up together, we get an, a final sum of nine over 15. Thank you very much for watching today and I look forward to hear, hearing from you soon. Take care. Bye.